It's great. You know, the, the energy in Hall H is something that's very hard to describe if you've never been there. I watched Mark Ruffalo turn from Bruce into Hulk. Jen's transformation is so very different from his. She retains her consciousness. I love Titania. I know you're not supposed to, but I'm obsessed with her from back in 1984 when she first hit the Marvel scene. What would happen? How would I feel if one day, completely unasked for, I suddenly got turned into a Hulk and had superpowers and now everybody wants me to be a superhero or an Avenger? I'd be furious. I would be like, I'm too tired. I don't have time for this. I got a lot on my plate already. You think I can juggle like my parents with the job that I have and then you want me to be a superhero? No thank you. Hard pass. Um, but, you know, this is the kind of thing where you can't pass on, so then she has to really deal with it. Nikki's rad, very based in love and kind of like her love language with uh, She-Hulk and Jen Walters is just to kind of always make her laugh. I, I love Nikki so, so, so much. <laughs> I just think there's a lot to relate to in it at the same time as it really, like, pokes fun at things that we've seen over the years and, you know, has a good time. It has a lot of fun. I'm so excited for all the cameos. We have made a smart funny, interesting, challenging, divisive show. I always like that Scott Lang was really the everyman of the Marvel Universe. Uh, and I like that no matter what happens, he gets beat up, he comes back, he gets stranded in the fonts around him, he comes back. Uh, he's really kind of the linchpin of, of defeating Thanos, I think that's fair to say, in Endgame. He kind of is uh, a bit of an everyman and that he's... You know, his struggles are relatable, even though his circumstances are somewhat extraordinary. And uh, it's fun to play every time. I was being hit by the, by the crowd and their excitement and just like, okay, yeah, this is cool, right? Yeah, this is cool. So it was like, oh, we were like almost mirroring each other. This is wicked. Yeah, this is wicked. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. So, yeah, it's fun. Here's Paul Rudd. Every interview. This crashes every This is Ant-Man. Ant-Man, can, can you please tell us what's going on? Oh, look, there's... Look, there's 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 there it is. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Whoa, hey, how's it going? Look, God, the Guardians are the, the worst. Did you see the footage for Ant-Man? By the way, that looks freaking awesome. <laughs> oh. I was blown away. I Thank was blown you. away by Guardian. Yeah, it was oh. crazy. That looked really... I cried. I told you, yeah. I think yeah, we all kind of got There's room for everybody in this oh, okay. so, yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we by go. the way, how about the fact that they all shuffled us out of there before we could see the Black Panther stuff? Oh, they did? <laughs> oh, we got to go on Twitter right now. Go oh, watch that's, it. That's cool. yeah. Is it on go. Twitter? Yeah, we got to go. We got to go. Bye. There's a wrap. <laughs> King T'Challa really surrounded himself with powerful women. And to see that be extended in this next film is really beautiful from Ryan and Joe Robert Cole. So I just really respect them for it. And it's refreshing, it's beautiful to see us on screen like that. What I love about playing the character is it's not complicated because the country comes first, the royal family comes first. And whatever happens, you have to put your emotions aside. It was moving. It was therapeutic, and it was fun. I'm really excited for these new characters. Oh my god, it was amazing. They, they called me like two years ago, and they, they, they offered this character, and I understood that finally the moment, the moment has come. You know, the moment arrived to my life, and be part of this world, be part of this movie, and represent this character and all the things that they did for this character. I'm very excited for people to see our world, our underwater world, <laughs> seeing you know the stuff that we do. You know, there's there's a little bit of whale riding as you saw on the on the trailer and amongst other things. So it's a it's very exciting. It's very exciting. It's the first one was incredible. It made waves. It changed history. And the second one is doing something completely different and that's also yet to be seen exactly what that is until we see the impact of it. But it's the consistency of excellence. It's like we did something special and we're doing something special again. I think it's one of the more intense projects that Marvel has taken on because literally the audience and the characters within the show aren't going to know if that person is really, really saying it. And so it will be like a, a, a pretty constant guessing game, I think, for the audience as they watch it. I love these characters and I get to tell their full, complete story. This is the end of this group of the Guardians, their journey. And it's a complete story that goes back to when I wrote the, uh, 
you know, the beginning of the first movie and where that comes from. So it really is one complete story. So I'm just fulfilling these characters' lives. I don't have to do anything to, like, keep it fresh because I love them and I love telling these stories. Concluding this saga has been incredibly emotional in a way that I didn't entirely expect it to be. It's been beautiful. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything I've ever done in my career. Adam, is, as you know, was kind of teased at the end of the second movie. So uh, to kind of, yeah, explore his introduction in the third has been really, really fun. Nebula, you know, had a very cathartic experience with the death of her father, Thanos, who was the source of all of her anger and pain. So now that he's gone, I think she can start to develop the personality that maybe she was meant to have a little bit, where it's like, there's more levity, maybe there's a little bit more lightness and some humor even. But she's still a little bit of an angry, mean person as well. It was super exciting because I was able to either go on stage and do it with a mock-up or do it as a voiceover, and I could have never missed a chance to go there and meet all of these incredible actors and James himself, so I used every single moment to be out there and see how they're doing it because it's actually a true acting to imagine all of the things that are happening. Um, so I was there and I had the time of my life. I was like thinking about the fact that there was actually more interaction between Nebula and Mentis, which is yeah. good because uh, we love each other in real life, me yeah. and Karen. <laughs> it was nice to actually like talk to each other in the movie. I was backstage and I got to see the trailer for the first, well, the teaser. And I just went, am I in this? Am I? And it was so a typical James Gunn, so emotional when the music kicked in. And I was like, wow. And then stepping on stage and seeing those fans just look at you with, like he's arrived was amazing. There's so much more to discuss and so much more to, uh, to unveil. We didn't want to talk about everything today. 